my YouTube friends. In this video I will continue a theme of holiday gifts and presents. Recently I did a video where I showed you how I prepare gifts for my family members and friends using pickles, infused oils and many other items from my garden. In today's video I will show you how to create handmade interesting presentations or packaging for your gifts. Let me show you what I am talking about with a set of three gifts. This first set of gifts is for my friend who loves the scent of lily of the valley. So in this gift I included Jessica McClintock perfume, salts, bath salts, lily of the valley, and a candle. My second set is for a colleague. She loves sweets. This uh, gift set includes a brownie kit that includes cast iron skillet with a brownie mixture beautiful golden candle and these pretty ornaments with candies inside. And my second set is for friend who loves craft works and also everything in white. So I will gift her with this wool picture that I created and I have a video and I will provide a link to this video how I did this project. This beautiful candle from Vietnam and it's in the shape of a small church. Also she likes everything crystal so this is a real bohemian crystal tray from Czech Republic and a long string of pearls and I believe that the gifts are good enough by themselves and I can easily bag them in a nice beautiful bag and just present like this but instead I would like to use trays from wood and do something else to this trace and present my presence in this trace. So this trace with additional decoration will be my packaging, unique packaging. Let me show with this container how I will prepare those boxes and trays. I will take cardboard and cut out appropriate pieces that are a little bit smaller than each of these sections. I did the initial cuts using my office knife and now I will use scissors to cut this out. All three pieces are done and they are a little bit smaller because now I have to attach my uh, evergreen branches. Let me show you how I will do this. I cut some evergreen small twigs and I try to use and cut the flat ones. And now I am going to glue them to my cardboard bottom. Last year I did a whole video on how I create napkins using this method. And I will leave a link above. Now let me glue my evergreens. The leaves are glued and now I will glue 
uh, this uh, cut out of the sheet in the middle. All three bottoms for three sections are ready and now I will insert them in my container. I inserted my bottoms and they transformed the box completely. It smells wonderfully and looks great and life with these green leaves. Now I am ready to place inside my gifts. And these are my gifts. And as a final touch, I will place something on top of these two jars because they are too dark and don't look festive enough. I prepared these two tops. What I did, I used wooden beads, artificial flowers, and I cut out and glue sparkling paper into artificial leaves. This is what I did here. And these two things are going now on top of my jars. And look how pretty this presentation is. And I placed my first set of gifts on the display. Another option is to use either these felt sheets or glitter foam sheets and make the bottom of my containers covered with this. Let me cut the appropriate shapes and I will show you the result. This is my result for this container with sparkling foam sheet and the length of the sheet was not enough so I cut one long portion and then from the rest I cut the second portion and just glued two pieces together and it's almost invisible especially it will be covered with evergreens and my presents and decorations. I also cut out a similar shape and I will glue my evergreens to this portion. And then I will cover the glued twigs with my sparkling pot. This is my result so far. Now I will glue the top portion and place it into the container. And this tray is also ready. Notice that I use rubber bands to keep my bottom on place, but it's completely covered here with evergreens and on the top it will be covered with my presents and additional decorations. Now let me do similar things with this tray. Finally, for this container, I'm using two sheets of felt and they are overlapping too much. So I will cut off and I will cover this space. Also, I will cut off these corners. And since those sheets are self-adhesive, I will detach the backing partially from the second sheet that I cut off to the appropriate width and I will glue two sheets together. And this is my result and I don't worry about those seams or some uneven surface because everything will be covered with evergreens and something else. So I don't even worry about these uneven corners. My goal was to cover initially the bottom of this container and the second goal was to have something to glue my evergreens.
next step will be to decorate this button with evergreens in the same fashion this is what I have done so far I also attached a small garland or string of lights and placed artificial snow on the bottom and I can adjust this amount when I placed my presents inside now I will arrange my second set of gifts using this tray my second set is ready I just placed my ornaments brownie kit and the candle and I glued them a little bit to the bottom but the wooden portion of the tray stays unpacked and then I place some more decorations for additional sparkle and make it more joyful and festive finally I will do my third set of gifts using this tray my third set of gifts is ready as well and it includes this little picture the candle crystal tray and I place this wonderful sparkling snowflake I believe it helped to use this little plastic but sparkling sledge to place my pearls well I arrange all three sets of presents let me know which arrangement you like the most in your comments and I value not only the beauty of these presentations but their functionality because everything in this presence is tailored to the liking of my friends also they can reuse the trays because hot glue removes very easily from all the items so they will be able not only to use the gifts themselves but the presentation boxes and trays in future and if you don't know how to embroider or don't have time you can use an easier approach you can frame any Christmas card or a piece of a ribbon like in this picture, I used a ribbon with a deer. Lights always provide additional nice effect. So if you like this video, Hit the like button, write the comments and subscribe to my channel. Happy Holidays!